everybody, Sheldon Dingwall here, and today we're going to talk about cleaning your instrument and keeping it in tip-top shape. Um, you'll need a few supplies. Number one on my list is a nice, soft, bristle paintbrush. That'll help you get dust out of uh, crevices and things like that around bridges and tuners. Some blue shop towels. These are the ones I prefer. If all you have are uh, white paper towels, that will do as well. You're not going to wipe down your finish with it but you're gonna use it for uh, cleaning your strings and things like that. Um, for wiping down the finishes, you wanna use a fresh microfiber towel. Um, keep it in a plastic bag so that when you set it down, you're not gonna set it down onto dirt and it'll pick the dirt up and scratch your finish. For cleaning the finish, uh, the product I prefer is the uh, Meguiar's Ultimate Quick Detailer. This is good for both gloss finishes and for matte finishes. And um, you can find it at any auto, uh, auto parts store, uh, you know, 12 bucks, something like that, and you'll have a lifetime supply. Now, if you have a pal ferro fingerboard, this is the stuff you want, lemon oil. Um, there are all kinds of oils out there that you can use. Um, some of them are actually dangerous. They can cause fires if you're not careful with your rags. So I recommend lemon oil, which is uh, mineral oil based, and you'll be fine. A couple of more things would be uh, some Q-tips just in case popsicle stick, uh, rubber glove, and we're good to go. Now the first thing I like to do is I like to do a quick little dusting with this paintbrush. So just get into the saddles, just brush off the dust around the pickups. There we go. If you have an air compressor, that'd be great. Then you could, you could uh, blow the base off, but not everybody has access to an air compressor. Get it out of all the, the nooks and crannies up along the headstock. Um, any dust in here. We're just trying to knock off um, the loose dust and then we'll come back with a uh, with a cloth and we'll put a little bit of spray on it and that will help clean it up. Okay, so um, should you spray the base or should you spray the cloth? I prefer to spray the cloth unless you've got a seriously dirty base. Um, I like to spray the cloth because that keeps you from getting the spray into the electronics accidentally. And so just a quick run over with the cloth. Now one of the problems is getting under the strings. How do you do that? Well, that's what the popsicle stick is for. So you just take your cloth, this is the damp side, put a popsicle stick inside it, and now you can get in under your strings and get under the pick guard. There we go, and it's looking better already. Uh, make sure that the popsicle stick doesn't pop out of the cloth or it'll start scratching your finish. Now, the more you clean your, your instrument, um, the less chance there is for your heavy dirt to build up, and so the easier it's going to be each time. Um, and again, this uh, Meguiar's is good for matte finishes as well as gloss, so it's good for your neck as well as for the body. There we go. Now for a maple fingerboard, you're going to have to remove the strings before you can clean the fingerboard. Um, and that's okay. Uh, you can put the strings back on after you're done. You get the tuners. All right, looking great. Okay, like I said, this goes back in the plastic bag while you're not using it. And let's take these strings off. Now, fortunately, this base, the fingerboard is not real dirty, so it's not gonna take a lot of time to clean it up. The only reason we're, you want to clean a uh, maple fingerboard is just to remove the dirt around the frets. Um, the dirt that collects along the frets can attract moisture and that moisture gets held there and that can seep its way into the uh, fret slots and that can cause some swelling. So keep your fingerboard nice and clean and, and you'll avoid all kinds of problems. And that's done. Now for matte finishes, um, this is a shop base here and I have the knobs removed, I have the bridge removed. You don't have to do that. Um, that's just the way the base was. 
But let's give it a quick shot with some quick detailer and see how it does. Now, the reason you want to use um, quick de detailer and not a polish on a matte finish is if you use a polish, it's gonna leave waxes on the surface and that's going to make the uh, surface kind of shiny in different areas. And, um, you know, you bought a matte finish because you want it to be matte looking, not shiny. There you go. It also helps to have a pad to do your work on. If you don't have a pad, you can take a, um, a bath towel and just fold it up a couple of times to have a nice soft surface. And, uh, or you can do it on your bed, uh, just someplace where it's not going to uh, bang on something hard. There we go, a little bit more. There we go, got all the fingerprints. So in the case of Palferro, this is where you want to use the lemon oil. You don't want to use the quick detailer on Palferro, uh, use lemon oil. Now, uh, a couple of things. Palferro has an internal resin, so it's oily all the way through the, the piece of wood. So you're not replacing oil. All you're doing is you're just trying to get the uh, dirt and debris and finger oil off. So you don't need a lot. Um, all you need is just a quick drop on your paper towel, see, hardly any. And then we'll rub that in. So we're not hydrating the fingerboard. Hydrating is a bit of a myth. And uh, all we're doing is we're just cleaning. And the oil helps to soften the dirt that's on your fingerboard. Uh, you can see that came off. And here we go. a little bit on the other side of the nut and if you have to if you've got dirt that's collected along a fret you can just take your fingernail um, and you can just use your fingernail to press the cloth into the um, into the corner between the fret and the fingerboard and that'll help dislodge that uh, that dirt okay and fold that flat so it can air out Then one last wipe. And it's looking beautiful. Now, I got a little bit of um, lemon oil onto the finish, so I'm gonna have to take that off. And I'll take that off very carefully with my paper towel. Rather than get lemon oil onto my polish cloth. So here we go. And I'm being very careful not to press hard with the paper towel. Paper towels can scratch. And there you go. Looks perfect. Now I'm going to give it one more wipe down with my polish cloth. I can still feel it's got a bit of a damp spot there. And just blend everything in. Popsicle stick between the controls. Tighten into the pickups and into the truss rod slot. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Now, while I have you here, we have new and exciting news coming out of the shop frequently, so if you would like to be first in line to hear it, be sure to subscribe below and to sign on to our mailing list. I'm sure you'll enjoy it.